thing. You play dodgeball. We Toy went Hard. to a prison. A prison for children. <laughs> we didn't free the um, children. Maybe they, were, they, they never were children. Who knows? Who oh, no. knows? We had fun Ooh. trivia time. Yeah, the trivia mm-hmm. was fun. I could have done that for just an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, after after some time, um, you guys can come back uh, with a uh, a boon. Um, that's not without its its uh, its caveats. Uh, you have a book. You guys each have a book that you have a week to read, and uh, if you don't read it. At least eight hours a day for six days. Gotta read them books. I have a question. That sounds like Mm -hmm. studying. I didn't think about it until afterward, and I totally forgot that I have the psionic, like, link between us. Could I have been feeding them answers during the trivia? (laughs) (laughs) Um, you could have tried. Okay. I wasn't sure if I could have. And I was like, oh, afterward i mean you, yeah you didn't you didn't try it then so i forgot I about it it's been a while can't tell you now uh but yeah you guys get back are back on your boat um everything's exactly the same as as when you left it uh and uh, you see over the horizon uh the uh small but sizable uh island of of Cito zolo Yay, we made it. Uh, you see rolling rolling hills full of uh full of sugar cane uh to the to the south and a a massive city to the uh south southeast part of the island. Um with a this most striking feature being a very large uh fort just sort of like built into the uh, natural features of the island, uh, like like just kind of like built into like this like rising jutting cliff uh, in the center. Um, I'm going to move you guys to this map as we do so. This is this is kind of still a work in progress, but ooh, yeah, yeah, very nice. I'm I'm having flashbacks of like Monkey Island music. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Nice map. Thanks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as you guys uh, pull into port, uh, the smell of spices and uh, and incense to sort of like fill your your nostrils. There's like a bit of coffee in there too. Um, uh, like Jamaica. A, <laughs> I guess I don't know. I've never been to. I've, I think actually, actually that's a lie. I've been to Jamaica once, but it, not not the real part of Jamaica. It was just a resort. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, there's there's a uh, a decent number of ships here in, in this in this port. Um, as you guys like are pulled in, you're kind of w- uh, waved down by some dock hands, uh, and with your crew, you're able to. Uh, uh, dock and uh tie up and uh the and are met by the by the dock hand that, that, that has approached you guys right so you uh you uh um uh, sorry um try to find the word here sorry unloading or unloading uh did we did we take anybody with us from the island uh, from Lantha? I can't remember. No, but I think we I have a bunch you. of. I think we have a bunch of fruit. Yeah, you guys have some fruit, I think. Um, does anybody remember what we're doing here? Um, we came here because we. Kept getting weird uh, headaches and impulses and stuff from, uh, and they said something was going on the Cita Zolo, so we kind of wanted to check it out. 
then we heard, he here. we heard a, a rumor of like uh, the styes on the north side have uh, something weird going on there. Wasn't there a lead for one of the merchant, one of the dra- uh, um, pirate princes? I don't think the heart thief is here. The only thing we heard about him is that they're looking for Olivia. I don't yeah. know if it was the heart thief. I thought it was. There were a few different um, pirate princes, and one of them was here. I heard. I have a note that says Horde Breakers Reach. 500 gold for information. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, the rumor that we got. Because uh, they're looking for Olivia. Um, but out of the ships that we saw um, at Lantha, there was only one of them that was coming here. The drop bottom. But he. Uh, we were still going to come here anyway, eventually, because we wanted to check it out. So. Was there a Scarlet Brotherhood lead then? Because I remember there was something, a, a lead for one of our side quests. Let me see. The vampire had uh, something to do with Cita Zolo. Um. There's a Dory and a Pelican here. A Pelican? It's a code name. Code names, yeah. Oh, right. Yep, there we go. Brotherhood base in Cito Zolo, possibly. Okay. Spooky. Because we had um, Pelican, Dory, and then Sasgatha, or whatever. It was kind of all kind of uh, tied into that, so that's what that's the main reason we're here. Or wanted to come here. Uh, so are we going to load or unload? <laughs> Imagine we're just loading. I would say we could pass off as merchants and say we're unloading fruit. Okay. Sure. Uh, we're unloading. Got some shipments in from... Lanta. Lanta. Um, I don't, I don't know what that... Lanta? Oh, is that... Is that what the little, the, the, the little folk are from? Yeah, we're just here to unload some of their supplies. I see. Okay, uh, well... Uh, we'll get to, get you set up, but uh, do you have a, an arrangement or anything to pick it up, or are you just... No arrangements. Uh, we're just... Uh, sorry, I don't have the voice at the moment. Um, mm-hmm. I think we're just going to try to pawn them off to the market or something, maybe. Go okay, sell some basket. He knows. Um, uh... All right. Well, just just needs a few information, just some details. Uh, ship name? The Killer Whale. All right. Um, where are you from? Where Salt. do you make birth? Salt Marsh. Okay. Uh, any casters with you? Any mages? Um, uh, Zeta kind of like puts a hand on, on Solon's shoulder and, and says, why do you ask? Uh, you all new here? Yeah. Uh, first time in port, eh? All right. Uh, you want to, you'll want to speak to the, uh, these, these staves over, over, over uh, in town. So, uh, head over to the post of staves and, and, uh, get in touch with them. Um, uh, just, uh, if you if you if you if you can can do magic and all that stuff, uh, keep it to yourself. Duly noted. Uh, can I do like an insight check to see what they mean by that? Like, is he sure. genuinely meaning it in our favor? Like, is he trying to be like wink, wink, don't tell anybody? Or is it like uh, you're going to get murdered if you yeah. use magic? Yeah, or or is he like trying to? Um, if we don't disclose that we're mages, maybe there might be dire consequences, so we should probably... I just want to get the idea of what he's thinking. Um, you gathered that it's a warning. Um, 
it, you don't you don't know anything more than that. But it's like he's like he's like genuinely trying to like warn you guys like, hey, if you can cast magic, don't go around like shooting shit off. Zeta glances at Olivia. <laughs> don't look at me. I don't even know what magic is. Yep. Wh whistles badly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I suppose we should go check what this post of stays is. Agreed. Yeah. As long as you get the red tape out of the way in the beginning. I don't want to, uh, make enemies as soon as we, uh, hit port. Oh. Uh, Solwyn, do you have any more of those, uh, have you had any more of the issues with your mind? The headaches and whatnot? Hold on one moment, and I'll try and link us up. Can you hear me now? Um, so when you, you, get a, you get a very faint hello? And then, like, uh, like just it's, it's like a, like a like a a, uh, a phone slamming down onto the receiver, uh, hanging up. Um, it's it's like immediately abruptly cut off. Um, but your mind is clear. Um, after that, you can everybody can can uh, sort of communicate with each other through mental link if you need to. Um, it's 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 very clear. Um, and it's like. You guys catch it like maybe like one like maybe one of you was like gritting your teeth a little bit and then it's like lifted, like like whatever was happening before with your you guys is like in the back of your minds and everything else like unconsciously seems to be alle alleviated. Oh, well, that's a good thing at least. Did anyone else hear that? Hear what? It, it sounded like a little girl, like talking to me, then cutting the connection. We didn't hear it, right? No, only Solomon heard it. No, we didn't nope. hear anything. Zeta just confused. I, th I think either I might be tapping into somebody or someone's tapping into me. Um, can I try and mimic that voice just so that they can hear it? Like, if I try and mimic the hello... You only heard it once, so it's, it'll it's, it'll be hard to to really try. Um, you can do you a do performance it. check. Should have been a Kenku. <laughs> well, I have. Oof. I have acting too. Don't you have to spend time though with the actor feet? No, that's just it's just if I'm trying to pass myself off as somebody else, and that's just, that's something different. Okay. Um, yeah, you're able to recreate it, but it's it's not it's not enough to really gauge if it's familiar or not. Okay. Um, Just a single word. Yeah. So if I start acting weird, I'm probably I'm just gonna try and keep an ear out for that voice if I hear it again. Yeah, just give us a heads up, and we'll keep an eye on you. Aye, right, but it seems that at least we found, or at least we're near the source of it. It was a lot clearer. That's for sure. I wonder, well, let, let's go check in with this council that says magic should not be used first. Yeah, it might be the reason why we can't be doing magic in the first place. Are we heading to the fancy castle? Uh, not quite. <laughs> is there uh, a signage are... or anything like that for the, where the staves is? Uh, yes, there is. There, there, there is definitely, uh, uh, some uh, some uh, uh, sign postage just to, like kind of get like gauge on like where the closest uh, post is. Um, as you guys are like walking through town, you see that like th this town is like different than the other ones you guys have been been to. This one's more highly decorative. Um, the like terracotta colored walls are like are decorated with these very uh, uh, distinct murals. Um, some depicting just like different animals and in, in very stylized forms. 
Um, some detect like some of the older ones that are like clearly faded are like detect depicting old battles or or something. Um, it's like it's like every two blocks you guys like come across like a different style of of architecture um, that doesn't seem to uh, at various points where they seem to blend in together, but other times it's just like juxtaposed where it's just like okay, this is clearly not built by the same people. Um, and all and all around, you see like above storefronts and and, and houses, uh, different uh, symbols, uh, uh, in going on in front of them. Um, the three more com most common ones that you guys uh, see are what looks like a a ziggurat uh, on a. Um, oh, where did my description go? Oh yeah, it's a, a green ziggurat on a uh, white background. Uh, another one that looks like a a curved crescent moon at the top with three white lines coming down underneath it against a black background, and another which is which looks like a very stylized uh, chimera uh, with the uh, the head fighting with its tail. Hmm. Hmm. Um, it's 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 stylized in like the same kind of way as like a. Like the Monster Hunter, uh, oh hell yeah, versions are, are yeah. Real quick, Hunter, um, mm -hmm. did we have a short or long rest in between the times that we were starting in Sudazolo? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, any, any uh, resources and stuff that you spent while in like the weird dream world or whatever it doesn't count. So yeah, you guys definitely well rested. So, Excellent. Okay. So everybody gets their fifteen HP. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, this place seems like it's, I don't know, um, layered differently, like people, different uh, sets of people coming in. Is that the kind of vibe we're getting? Like there's different settlements, or at least people like building on after and after and after, or is it like just distinct uh, neighborhoods? Um, there's some that are distinct neighborhoods, but it does feel like, like something, something. It does feel like it has been added on to over the years. Do these symbols seem to have any familiar, any familiarity to any of us? Um, actually, yeah, everybody can make a history check. History? Yes. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Oh, it's not bad. Oh. Uh. Okay. Uh. Solomon and uh. Oh wait. Hmm. Different character. Oh no! It actually. I'll never mind. I'll also love it. Uh. So. So. Uh. Solomon and. Uh, Zion, you both uh, notice that it's it's remarkably similar to, uh, to the um, like the one of them the the one with the uh, crescent moon with the three uh, white lines going down it um, looks very similar to the uh, one that to the, like the little uh, there there was a there was a uh, a side of the cube that Lori Wendell had that has that symbol. Lori Wendell from Saltmarsh, uh, that you guys uh, fought the uh, one that kept turning invisible and trying to run away. Oh. Mm. The one that uh, Giovanni took the cube from. When, we chased uh, her down into the died. passageway, like the secret, secret passageway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Zion mentions. Oh yeah, Giovanni did mention that to me. Um, is that lady who was uh, turning invisible it was hard to fight, hard to kill. Then I just keep on your toes for any Scarlet Brotherhood members. She thinks she's probably from here, maybe. Uh, I, I uh, we had an idea that there might be a Brotherhood base here. There might be a, just clenches her fists. There might be a few of them. Perhaps we should we should use something coded language. You mean besides talking in our heads? Aye, if we have to talk out loud. Very true. 
Um, I don't have a uh, fine uh, locate object prepared, so we'll have to wait a day for that to be able to track anything in town. I do I have wonder... it, but I want to know what the whole deal is with magic first before I go casting anything. Yeah, I wonder if they probably have some kind of sensor or something, so I wouldn't risk it. Of course. I wouldn't have thought to do it yet. Anyway. Not that I'm not itching to know, but we should go figure out what is and what is not allowed here. Um, you guys are actually seeing like a, a wide variety of, of different uh, folk here. Um, it's, there's like, uh, there's definitely some uh, dwarves and and halflings and and uh, humans and elves and the like. Um, but there's also Goliaths here, um, although they are a little bit few and far between. Um, it, occasionally, you do catch a uh, uh, like a sizable number of lizard folk, but dressed in like finery, um, mm. finery and armor, like like not like the the lizard folk you saw. Uh, near salt marsh uh, getting to the the post uh, uh, going inside the door emblazoned with that 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 chimera that's fighting with itself um, it's uh, uh, you see you, uh, a lizard folk in in armor like feathered armor is uh, is uh, just do, signing some some papers and and uh, and uh, what's the word Accounting, I guess. Yeah, counting some coins. Um, but notices you all and just says, Mages. It would depend on what your definition of mages are. People capable of magic or specific types of magic. By the way, I can cast magic from my, uh, my deity, cleric, if you will. Um, he takes out a wand, and he uh, uh, taps it a little bit on his uh, on his desk. Um, so, when you recognize this wand, uh, you have a, you have one very like it. Um, and he uh, gives a good look over all of you as he as he uh, casts uh, uh, detect magic from it. Um, uh, items to. Uh, all magic of any kind is not allowed in Cito Zolo. Well, with some restrictions. What do you have against magic? Our island has been home to many different conquerors. We are not unfamiliar with the abuses of magic and their ways of controlling others and destroying others. By denying yourself the use of it, you are leaving yourself vulnerable to it. Oh, we can allow it, but with some restrictions. What kind what of restrictions? To, if you wish to cast magic within our walls, on our island, you will need to register yourself with us, and with a nominal fee, uh, you may be give it, given permission to cast magic openly in the privacy of your quarters or anything where you are it does not matter what's this fee 1000 platinum per person uh surely it rolls her eyes. I like this place and I don't me. joke and if yeah. a person does magic without this registration They will be branded hostile and maybe summarily arrested or executed, depending on the severity of the charge. And what is the magic defined by? Yeah, I glance over at Master Zion and say, you said magical items too, correct? I did. Using the, using, openly using magic such as from this wand, for instance, uh, or 
anything from and he like he like waves his hand and like like a uh a minor like like illusion of a of a crab walking across his table uh shows up or the like without authorization uh you may be uh, subject to penalties I, I gesture to my amulet of health and what about these other magical items are fine as long as they do not cast an open effect So like, um, it's like he can activate the one. He can only activate the one with allowance. But if it's like a passive effect, like the cloak of manta ray, for instance, it seems okay. Uh, yeah. You, you guys get you guys gather that it's, it's mostly just like active active items. <sighs> like a wand of magic missiles or something. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, or misty step or anything like that. that. Yeah. We don't have that uh, not kind of money. Well, you might be able to hope that a house can uh, sponsor you. A house? Yes. Tell me more. Uh, he like he like sighs a little bit and leans back in his chair. Uh, there are many families and many different influences in Cedo Solo. Uh, each one, each one, mostly belonging to one of the three larger houses that we have here: the House of Jade, the Umber League, and the Ketz Pesach. I'll type that in for you guys. Perfect. Thank you. Sounds Cardassian. It's making me think of a. Uh... Yuan T. Yuan T have always uh, break down their houses and stuff. Uh, he he uh, he points uh, to a uh, like to like above the door that you guys entered, and you see like a, again like a small placard with the in bronze is the the symbol that you guys saw on the door outside. This post is is operated and maintained by the Ketspisak. Is that the green ziggurat? No, that's a chimera. Yeah, the chimera. Sorry. Tell us more about these houses. We are new here, and we do not know the political landscape. How does one get sponsored? Uh, You can try your luck asking around. You might actually just get lucky just going outside. A few minor houses are known to try to poach some individuals that are looking for registration. And minor houses can afford to have pay 5,000 platinum? He, uh, he shrugs. They can. So at what price, man? No, 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 name a free lunch. So what do they do these things for? Having more casters and and magic and magic users, registered ones, I should say, is sometimes beneficial. Okay, so what do they want? They want us to work for them or what? Possibly. The staffs, for instance, are the members of the the town, of the city guard that can't, that are cast spells and the like. We are the main ones that patrol and uh, what's the word? Oh, police. Police the uh, the casters. Mage users. Ma- magic users and mages. There we go. Have you heard of any mages that specialize in psychic magic? Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Saw that. No, it was just I, I like misclicked. Uh, uh, he uh, like raises like a, a an eyebrow and uh, uh, scratches his head a little bit. I no. 
Never heard of it. Know anybody that might be able to help? Mm. He just shakes his head. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Where? Oops, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Where might we find more information about these houses? One second. You can try a, a nearby house of leaves, uh, library, that you might, be, they, they might have some information there we'll be willing to share. Leaves library? Uh, house of leaves, he said. Um, that's that's seems to be his term for a library. Okay. Get it? Like book, book pages leaves? Wow. Well. One additional question I have. Um, is there any place uh, other than the library that may specialize in the uh, uh, history of Cedar Solo? Um, he, uh, he, he leans back at his chair. Like, he tips his chair back a little bit. Um, uh, and you guys can see, like, on his chest is, like, a very large gold medallion with a uh, piece of jade inserted into it. Um, that he... He has worn around his neck and is just like kind of hanging on his chest. Um, uh, he thinks for a moment and uh, says, You can try some of the temples to the older gods. Is there a temple to Zatzilla Zaha? I can't What's that? <laughs> yeah, I. I Zatzil Aha? Is that... so, I, I think it's like. I think it's pronounced uh, Zatzil Aha, but yeah. Uh, he. Uh, he. Uh, 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 turns his head a little bit, like, like he wasn't expecting you guys to say to know about that. He's like, I think, I think so. Probably to the base of the uh, of the high fort. Thank you. It's a place to start. Any temples on Sagothka? Um, he shakes his head. I don't know of a god called that. Is there anything we should look out for? Obviously, other than using magic. Since we're new in town. Uh, if a hole in the wall leads you to a tomb or something like that, don't go in it and alert the authorities. Oh, that sounds like we should definitely go in it and definitely raid that tomb. There's a whole lot of legal trouble with with that and who owns the rights and all that stuff. So it's I don't want to try to explain it right now. But if you if you spot it, just just tell the authorities. Don't go in it. Julian, There's lots you. of uh, remnants of the Jizzlane here. I'm sure we can go without robbing a tomb for once. <laughs> That's all the questions I got. Does anyone else have any? Do you know anyone named Lori? Um, he shakes his head a little bit. I, I don't. Is are you looking for this person or? Just seeing if there's any passing by information. Is there a registry for magic users? Uh, he sighs a little bit, and he goes, "There is, but I can't get a, get that information out for free." She, she was a magic user, so how much would it cost to check the registry? Uh, uh, he uh, gets out a a, a a sheet of parchment, and he uh, uh, he goes, uh, "That'll be uh, fifty gold uh, yeah. for the the fees and." Uh, Okay. <laughs> I slide him over 50 gold. Okay. I'll look into that. Um, are you staying in any place nearby or? 
We haven't found a place to stay just yet. We're currently docked. But yeah, do you we're looking for rooms if you have any recommendations. Um, he like he like waves his hand a little bit as he's like trying to like trying to think. Uh, the island sands is a decent place. I want to do um, an insight check on him because he seems so sick of our shit. I just want to see if that's a genuine <laughs> recommendation. Sure. Oh dear. Um, it's 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 like he's like trying to like just like think of whatever you think maybe. Okay. It's like you're the first one that came to like, his head. Yeah, you're not able to discern like intent or anything. Like like oh, let's I'm going to send them to someplace crappy or I'm going to send them to someplace good. And it was the island sands. Yes, the island sands. Uh, don't go to the mud wallows. Thank you. If you do, guard your purse. Um, Azeda genuinely appreciates his advice, so she's going to say thank you and, and bow to him. So before we continue further, uh, I don't like the smell of the game here. I'm going to go back mm -hmm. on the ship and uh, I'm going to leave all my money in my room. Mm. I also think that um, maybe we should do a trip back to the boat because yeah. if he's going, we're going to all go together. Yeah. And I'm going to let oh, Giovanni okay. know how great this place is. No magic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we'll stash our uh, coinage, except for a certain amount. Sure, that works for me. I like keep like fifty gold just to be, you know, yeah, pocket yeah. change. As long as we don't have to have any more uh, surprise uh, fees, you know. Hopefully not. Yeah, just I'll don't cast it. a spell; you'll be fine. I'll just take a hundred with me. Well, if we cast spells, we better do it on the boat. <laughs> oh yeah. So um, quick, do it now! Pew pew pew. Actually, I I think if we're on the boat, I might try a locate object on the Scarlet Brotherhood ring. Ooh, good idea. Maybe we can find it in the distance. It's a thousand feet, so we'll see. They'd have to be pretty close to the docks, but it's worth a try. Okay, you want to cast it? Okay. Um, you don't detect anything near the docks, um, and like okay. and like traveling back from the boats, you guys you won't be able to detect anything the entire ten minutes that you're 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 moving on. Well, we're not we're not casting it in the city. We're on. Oh the yeah, boat. no, no, but like, well, you already casted it, but on the boat. But it's a concentration spell, so you can just keep it going while you walk. Okay. Like no one's, no one's got, no one's like going to be casting detect magic to be like oh, she she has a spell up. Like no. One's oh okay, that. okay. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry about that. So, like, if you cast mage armor on the boat, for instance, and you walk around with mage armor, nobody gives a shit. Um, that might. <laughs> that might. <laughs> mage okay. armor is a little more obvious, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Again, visible open spell casting is 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 the main the main thing that main takeaway. Okay. So just just watch out for any spells that use uh, components. Also, if you if you guys are unregistered. Roger that. All right, so uh, do we want to find the find the inn first, or just maybe find one of the houses? Uh, let's try the inn first. At least get like a little bit of a base of operations going first. Yeah, and so we're looking for the Scarlet Brotherhood here, and also why we got psychic brain scrambled. Oh right, the little girl. Potentially. Right. Attack any little girls. Got it. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna I highly off. recommend it. I'm just going to head off to the library while they're all doing that stuff. And I'll just say, just keep me in touch. We're good for five hours. Yeah, I'm going to the library too. I don't care for uh, getting a house sponsor. 
Yeah, Abitra, I definitely don't want to register yet. Azeta might just walk around with her concentration up and see how much ground she can cover. See if she can locate any rings. All right. She'll walk briskly with purpose. Olive, <laughs> you going to in or are you going... Mm. I guess I'm going to go look for an inn. Alright, yeah, I'll stick with Olive. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> empty the purse. <laughs> Alright. Um, uh, let's start with... Uh, let's just start with the library folks. Uh, so who's going to the library again? Me. And Solin. Okay. Um, so after, you know, inquiring around and everything else, there's, there's no real signage for the, 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 uh, the library, um, just because not, it's not, not, not super necessary. Um, uh, but, uh, it is, it is open. Um, the, uh, attendants there just ask that you don't take anything. Don't, don't take anything out, but you're free to, to peruse the, the minor, uh, tomes and stuff that they have. Minor amount, as I should say. It's definitely not as big as like some of the other libraries and and uh, that you saw in uh, Grad Soul, for instance. Hmm. Right. I was trying to go through my notes of what I need, what I should research while we're here. I mean, the first thing I guess would be about the houses. Uh, so Zion's is going to find a table and start reading his uh, his tome of understanding. Oh, <laughs> okay. Got my book right here. I'll meet you up later. Um, okay. Uh, someone, could you do a mm, investigation? <laughs> Sounds good. Oof. <laughs> Get him out um, of the way. Get him out of the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I know. So, I like to what, think what, that I, I'm. I'm like. Looking back at Master Zion, I was like, "Man, I should really be reading my book." I'm like <laughs> half-assing what I'm doing, <laughs> and then yeah, I'm gonna be like, "Oh fuck it, I'm just gonna start reading my book." <laughs> um, I, I will, I will uh, give you that the uh, uh, the House of Jade, the Umber League, and the Ketspasak are all fairly old, um, but they're made up of a whole bunch of like other smaller, minor ones. Um, each of them, like some of them, might have different names and everything else, but it's it just sort of like goes on, like this, like whatever you're looking at just kept going on and on about like random other like minor houses, and it just kind of bored you a, a little bit, I guess. Like, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> screw this! I'm gonna learn about yoga poses. <laughs> <laughs> Up your decks. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Um, but, uh, Olivia and, um, actually, no, Azeda. Uh, let's we'll mm -hmm. do Azeda first. Um, Azeda, uh, walking about, uh, you don't actually see, um, you don't get a ping off of, like, your, your looking objects thing. You don't, you don't get any, like, like, notice from, from, from your ring. Last one you got was, like, maybe, I think Solwyn still has hers, right? Yes. Yeah, so like as you like walked away from her, like that that faded, obviously. But okay. other than that, I'm also just getting kind of getting a like a lay of the land. I'm walking around the docks, and then I'm moving into. I'm gonna not go towards whatever that. Actually, I wouldn't know where the neighborhoods are. She's just walking around. We'll find out if I move into the sketchy part of town. <laughs> do um, I? Hmm. What do I find in my explorations? If anything, um, you do detect. Uh, so you're, you're not sorry. You don't detect anything, but you do see uh, uh, lots of lots of uh, hawkers, uh, lots of lots of wares. Um, a few bazaars are like made, are like being built into these these narrow streets and everything. Um, occasionally, you do see 
uh, people that are adorned with like a with like one of the crests of like the the, the one of the three main crests, um, sort of arguing with each other um, before uh, departing from each other. Like it, it's it seems to be like not heated arguments, but just like a little bit of antagonist antagonism between between the the uh, the other factions. Hmm, so there's like rivalries between um, what faction has the right to be on what turf? Yeah, a little bit. Do I overhear, like, um, what, can you give me an example of one of the altercations I'm hearing? Or <laughs> it's okay if you just like, nah. <laughs> um, one of the, like the, uh, the, the uh, Umbra League, the, um, they seem to be, uh, a bit more upset that like that we're we that like trade has been um opening up and and everything um while the uh, house of jade is is just very much like you know this is where our goods come from like come on man so uh you make an insight check sure no <laughs> again uh it's the going a little bit over your head uh you, you're not you're, it's you're not not sure like what's what they're, what they're exactly why they're talking about this or what the, the deal is they're using big words again <laughs> <sighs> okay um but olivia and uh wolfram yes you guys are going around. Are you are you, uh, trying to find the uh, the island sands? Or are you yes, looking for a different. Okay, no, we're looking for the island sands. Oh, actually, we might want to know where the the mud wallows are too, just so we can know to avoid it. <laughs> okay, um, go ahead and make a make a charisma check then. Okay, um, uh, just a flat charisma. Yeah, it's, it's oh, fine. Oh, yeah, I'll, sorry. I'll just, I'll just go. I'll just go ahead and, and use that. That's okay. <laughs> oh wow! All these low ones. Um, yeah, like, asking about the mud wallows is like like a, uh, occasionally you'll get some people just going like, oh no. Uh, <laughs> especially, especially especially coming from from you, Wolfram. You got that kind of like with that mask on. You have that a little bit of a of a meaner demeanor. Uh, but uh, Olivia, you, you, you can gather. The mud walls is like a, it's like a little in area that's like deep, that's like down in the under fort, uh, down okay. underneath the, uh, the the main thing. I gotcha. Yeah, a bit seedier, a bit rougher. It's probably where all the fun people hang out. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have to go there for now. Yeah, let's keep our eyes peeled for this other place. Um, but yeah, after after a little bit of time, uh, you're able to come across uh, the the island sands. Uh, you see the uh, the zigger the green ziggurat on a white background. Wait, no, sorry, white ziggurat on the green background. Is that right? Green ziggurat, white background. There we go. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank you. Right the first time. Um, designating that that this establishment is at least affiliated with the House of Jade. Gotcha. Uh, inside, uh, this, uh, like all the walls and everything here are made of stone, stone pillars, um, smooth stone, uh, like sand. Um, there's a, a bit of a smoky smell in here. Uh, the smell mm. of smoke coming up, like just wafting out from the back of the, uh, the area where the kitchen is. Oh, okay. Um, uh, but they have a, a, a sizable bar and uh just sort of you get you get like a a, a welcome smile and a nod from the uh, the bartender that's there hey, we're looking for rooms you got any uh, uh the the bartender a uh kind of stout for a for a goliath at least that you can catch uh just uh just well rooms yeah you out of Thomas? Uh, something like that, yeah. 
merchants or yeah well let's go with merchants he he like nods a little bit he's like all right okay uh yeah i can get i can get something arranged uh uh, standard rate is about two gold, five gold for the nicer room, uh, per night. I'll give him, well, let's see, there's five of us. How many people do we, does everyone want their own room? Do you not want to share a room, love? Oh, well, we're always sharing a room, of course. How many beds are in that? Imagine that all the psychic, psychic airways. <laughs> <laughs> How many beds per room? Uh, one to two. Depending. I figure we get enough nice rooms for the re- for, for all of us. That's fair. We'll just get everybody their own room, I guess. Uh, obviously, you... Uh, right. So, on, so. so, four nice rooms is 20 gold. Which I will give him. Okay. Um, he takes, he takes your money and everything. Um, and uh, he goes over. He uh, uh, waves down um, a uh, very nicely dressed uh, servant that co- that comes over and uh, uh, listens listens uh, listen to what he says, and then uh, goes and says, "I can I can show you right away." Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Um, yeah, he goes up uh, uh, over to your guys' room, uh, hands you guys keys. Uh, mm. so, so, it seems like these like these doors do have like their own keys and, and locks and everything. Um, bow, like uh, bows, they're they're disjointed uh, in the in the upper stairs. They're not all together. Um, so they're like you know, it's it's not like you guys have like four rooms in a row. It's like one, two, space, space, three, space, space, four, for instance. Oh, cool. Um, so it does seem like they just kind of gave you what was available. Um, uh, but as you guys uh, uh, approach, go downstairs, uh, let's see. Whose passive is higher? Definitely a man. I think it's, I think it's, yes, yeah, I think it's yeah, I have a 23 passive. Mama mia. <laughs> okay. Um, well, from you, you like, as you're like walking down, you like notice out, like out of the corner of your eye and everything, you see that uh, the bartender has like, uh, uh, talks some things with this with this one uh, this one lady, uh, short cropped uh, brown ha- brownish hair, human, um, tan skin, uh, not too light, not too not 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 too dark, um, just like in like a weird in between. Olive, there we go. That's the word I was looking for. Olive skin. Um, and. Uh, she looks over, locks eyes with you, Wolfram, and just like is just like walks with a very giddy step. And as she kind of approaches, can I help you? You're out of towners, aren't you? Uh, is it that obvious? I mean, you you both certainly look capable. Um, she like points at uh, Olivia's uh, long sword, and uh. And well, from your your giant giant hammer. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, I I definitely know how to use this. <laughs> um, say you uh, you don't have to be sponsored, or would you? She like gives a look a look over at you guys. Um, just kind of looking at, at, at like what you guys are carrying and everything. We we're not, we, we're not interested right now. Yeah. Are, are you sure? I wouldn't say we're not interested, but what is your proposal? Well, my name is Maya Sherrick. I'm uh, currently affiliated with the, the House of Jade, but I was uh, looking to, to sort of start up my, my own my own little house uh, in, in the future. Um, uh, I've got a pretty good proposition for you if uh, if you if you if you if you'd like. Well, I'm all ears. Well, we can definitely hear what you have to offer. Now, uh, let's uh, let's let's go let's let's sit, let's sit down for just a second. Uh, and she uh, she points to an, an empty booth uh, in the corner. 
Yep. Come on, join me. Yeah, yeah, we'll slide on. All right. Um. Now, uh, do either of you know what uh, know, know anything about the uh, Jezulane? We do not. Uh, maybe you know them um, uh, out of towners. Of course you want. Uh, mud sorcerers? No, no, no. I definitely haven't heard. No, I haven't heard of them. No. Oh well. Uh, anyways, they used to used to run Cedozilla way back in the day. Uh, it's kind of one of the reasons why we have these uh, these restrictions on magic users. Um, but uh, if uh, uh, they they left behind a whole bunch of uh, tombs in the region, and uh, and you know, lots of good stuff in there, but also lots of dangerous stuff. We're accustomed to dangerous things. Yeah, you want us to scope one of these things out for you? Uh, actually, yes. See, the city, since they're so dangerous, we actually divide it up. Like, they, they, they auction it off. It's like a whole deal. There's rights involved. You know, it's, it's like the there's property rights that involve it also because a lot of houses are also built on top of these. It's it's a whole big, big deal. Yeah, we were but, warned about all the red tape. Yeah, I got the rights to a very not to to, to an undis- undiscovered tomb uh up in up in the three jails and it's uh i'm, I'm looking to really get in on it uh because this, this thing is burning a hole in my pocket if you know what i mean all right so uh what's our cut uh well um first of all i can get you sponsored so that you don't have to worry about but all that stuff with here in the and hi, that's enticing. That just is a formality. We need our abilities to deal with the, the dungeon or the tomb. Yeah, if we're going to be dealing with this for you, we're going to need to be casting magic in there, probably. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, that's true. Um, but, uh, okay. Uh, I would just like a... Um, you guys will be, you guys are doing most of the 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 uh the uh fighting and everything else in there and clearing it out and everything making sure that it's you know nice and safe um the real money is actually in the real estate so if you guys clear everything I'll be able to take a hold of that uh no problem and you know maybe spruce it up or something I don't know but um uh, uh all I ask for is a 10% finder's fee That works for me, honestly. I'll look at Wolfram. What do you think? Well, I'm not, uh, I'm not well versed in the uh, economics of uh, how much do you think it's worth? Ooh. I mean, it's really hard to say. You never know when you're going to be opening up these things. Uh, uh, they're they're kind of heavily guarded up front and inside it's it could be it could be almost anything so there's no guarantee of exactly how much is in there Do you have um, any guesses well well they did say that old old Vindalen, uh uh was able to op- like cr- turn his into like a, a magic vault so I'd say it's pretty it's it's a lot it's a it's a pretty penny. Interesting. Um, well, we have associates that will also need to be sponsored if we were going to do this for you. Oh yeah, 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 sure. Um, say though, do you mind if I, if I like, I, like I I really like to do this, but like I don't know what your skills are. So do you mind if I uh? Because like this, this thing is like a once in a lifetime deal, and I don't want to just send some people in there to their death, and then I have to deal with this whole rigmarole all over again. Right. So what? You got some sort of test? Yeah. Uh, there's this island up north, usually sh- shrouded in fog, but uh, no one's really been able to get into it. Um, it's uh, it's an old, old Olmen uh, temple t- uh, island uh, called Tamboachan. There's a uh, 
there's a really exquisite jade wall in there that I've, I've seen from uh, some like old records and scrolls and stuff. Uh, if you can get me that, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys where to, where to, where to go for the, uh, the, uh, the mud sorcerer tomb. I'll let you guys in on that, that, that whole deal. Well, we actually wanted to go to Tomochan, so I suppose that is our... Yeah, it seems our interests have aligned. Oh, that's... that's fantastic! Question real quick. Is ban... Mm -hmm. is city... uh... is it magic only banned in the city limits, or is it the entire island? Uh... mainly in the city? I don't... I don't think I've seen anyone try to test it out. I don't really go very far myself. I kind of just like to hang out down here. Before we say anything, is there a way we can get some information from you? Uh, sure. What would you, what would you like to know? It has nothing to do with, uh, the job or anything like that, but there has been some things that we've come across, and we'd just like to get a little more information about it. Uh, yeah, I guess first, some clarity. I, uh, do you worship any of the god, the old gods uh, of Sita Zola, or do you know, have any knowledge of them? Me, personally? I, I can't say that I do. We are looking for a little information about uh, one of the gods, Zatzilla. Oh, I think he actually had. I think I think Tomochin was actually to him. That's that's probably one of the re one of the reasons why like anyone trying to investigate it doesn't really come back. Uh, you know, anyone that does is usually empty-handed. I uh, do you know, know anybody that would have any kind of information on in Cedar Zola before we leave uh, regarding him? Um. There's like a an, an an old temple down down near the base of the the of the uh, the high fort, so you could try there. It's minor, but it's something. All right, yeah, it's something. Uh, this is a question to Chuck. Um, mm -hmm. Should we ask about uh, the Brotherhood? Ooh, uh, wait on that? Let's wait and get sponsored in first. All right. Um, we don't want to tip our hand too quickly. Yeah, yeah that's true. absolutely. That um, sounds like a good idea. Let's see. Because we'll once we get sponsored, they'll probably also have uh, stuff at their disposal that we can maybe leverage. All right. Um, is there Especially because it seems to be one of the big three. I'm kind of interested in chasing this for them. Okay, um, let's see. Is there any other information we want to try to pick from their brain? Um, I don't know. How are we going to get it? How should we get a hold of you once, uh, once we're back? Um, well, you guys just, just bought some rooms here, right? I can, I can just sit, uh, sit tight in here. This is, I kind of help run this establishment. It's not mine, but, you know, manager. Well, if you'll be here, we'll probably be back, yeah. Makes sense to me. All right, I can, oh. I can but like, uh, I can, I can, I can go ahead and get started on the uh, the paperwork for getting you registered if you if you'd like. I uh, like I said, we have some other companions that would need to be registered. Uh, we can make sure that they get here soon. All right. Well, you can just. All right. Well, if you want to wait, wait for that. I can do that. One other question: Do you know anybody that has? Uh... Perhaps uh, psychic abilities on the island. Psychic abilities? I mm, can't say that I do. Um, she like just just is just like a scratching her chin a little bit uh, as she thinks. You know, I, I'll, I'll come. I'll come back to me on that. I'll. I'll I, I might. Might have something. Okay. But... Um, any rumors about? Um disturbances related to psychic abilities or 
people experiencing weird voices or headaches. Hmm. I think my my landlady did did, did snap at me one time, but that's kind of usual. Uh, <laughs> Landlords, am I right? Yeah, uh, a lot of them in this town. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I heard that the underfort's a little restless nowadays, but that's kind of always out the case. I started grinding my my teeth in my sleep. Is that? Is, is that... <laughs> No, something, something? Uh, a little bit more in back, worse than a migraine. Hmm. Ah, she shakes her head. No, can't. Sorry, I can't say I do. Right. Thank you. Um, we all go check out that uh, temple and get our associates here so they can get the paperwork ready. Okay. Uh, so yeah, psychically, uh, Wolfram will contact uh, Solon. Solon, we found somebody that may sponsor us. They, well, they reached out to us and uh, they want us to go to Tomoe Chan. I know you wanted to go there. That's uh, some kind of test to uh, lead into another possible job here on the island. Are you in? Hell yeah, I'm in. Um... You know, something. there was something we forgot to do while we were on the boat, and I need to ask you, how much incense do you have? Uh, currently on me, I have... Uh, 150 gold worth. Uh, Thank sorry, you. 250. And do you have four ivory strips worth of at least 50 gold each? I do. You know what question is gonna come next? I can need prepare it, yes. Yay! Because we need to find out about the vampire lady before we go. I, it oh, seems yeah, that Samoa Chan has something to do with the god that she worshipped. So, we're definitely going to be uh, experiencing that soon. Uh, Olivia and I will probably be heading to one of the temples of that god uh, in just in a short time. Do we just want to meet back up at the ship? No, um, bring Master Zion to the island sands and let uh, uh, Zeta know. All right. Know. Yeah, I got everyone rooms. Ooh, fancy ones? The best ones they got. Yes. Um, I'll relay to Master Zion out loud and uh, Zeta will contact via mentally. Zion like, puts away his book. Like he like reads like a page or so just to finish it off, puts a bookmark in, and he's like, "All right, let's go." Uh, what did you say to Zeta? Uh, it looks like uh, we have a mission that's going to help us on the way. Uh, Olivia and Wolfen would like us to meet them at something called the Island Sands, which is I guess that hotel. All right, thank you. I will be right over. So Azana will make her way over there. She'll um, she'll probably wander around aimlessly for a little bit and then ask for directions after <laughs> not seeing it. I hear your kitty. Oh, is he? Yeah, is, can you hear the purring? I can. He loves it. He's gotten into this thing where he really likes me to smack his butt. So I'm giving him butt pats and he's purring really loud. Yeah, Hunter does that to my cat. He's so kinky! <laughs> I got a kinky cat. Making our way to the island sands. The island sands. Yeah, right. we did it. <laughs> we discovered All the right. quest, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> One second, sorry. Yeah, take your time. Okay. Uh, so you guys all be meet, meet back up at the uh, the Island Sands. Um. Oh. Uh. And. Uh, 
Uh, sorry. You guys, uh, Wolfram and Olivia, you guys were just waiting there? Yep. Yep, we're going to wait for them. Uh, and um, before they get there, can we at least get the, the person's name? Because I don't think we actually got her. Oh, yeah, true. Maya Sherek. Maya Sherek. All right. Sherek. I'll, I'll type it in. Maya he. Boo! <laughs> Meanwhile, Azeda got jumped and died. <laughs> Rip. Nah, you're fine. And she was uh, associated with the House of Jade, right? Yeah. Back. Um, actually, this is a good place for a break, I think. For, okay. Right now, though. Okay. I'm gonna go with some Okie dokie. Yeah, I could use a bathroom break. Hear me. Are we all BARB in? My parents and her friends are watching Battleship. I have a sinking suspicion that uh, one of the notes I took for something is uh, in the GM notes of a token on a page, and I don't know <laughs> which one it is. Oh no! I, hope, I, I think I think I'm overthinking it. I think I'm actually okay, but I'm just like, oh, did I put it somewhere?
That's everybody. Hello. 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 Everybody's here? Yes. Yep. So. All right. Okay. So, uh, everyone, uh, meets up at the, uh, Island Sands and, uh, are introduced to, uh, Maya Sherrick, uh, by Wolfram and Olivia, uh, who seems very enthusiastic, very excited to meet you all. Uh, wow, like this is, ooh. Uh, she's like, like looks at at, uh, at you, Zion. She looks at at uh, Safar, uh, not Safara, Nefara's, uh, I mean the Zeta's uh, <laughs> armor. Oh my god! We're professionals. Yeah, you can count on us. Yeah, Zeta looks very imposing, and she's got Hi. fancy, fancy mythical yeah. armor. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, I think I. No, 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 no. I, I got, I got it. No, I got, I got to do this. Yeah. So, uh, uh, almost tempted to just like let you go on and check out the the, the tomb for yourselves, but uh, I'd, I'd rather just see see if, like you guys like you know kind of prove yourselves capable first. Um. Uh, all right. So yeah, Maya Sherrick, Uh, I guess I'll be uh, sponsoring you guys. And what is it you want us to retrieve? It's a jade wall. Uh, it's supposed to be a very decorative jade wall. I don't know how big it is. Um, it says it's the 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 scrolls that I've been able to fi- see have called it a uh, you know a wall, but that could mean anything. You know, like no. the back of my closet is a is technically a wall. It's not that big. So, do you know if it's actually made out of jade? That's supposed to be. It's supposed to be very. Like very nice, very expensive. Very, very expensive, expensive, Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have some way for us to carry it back here, or what? Uh, I, I don't. I, I'll, I guess I'll be up to you guys. So if we break it all into bits, yeah, you okay with that? Uh, I'd rather not. But, hmm. I'm I mean, not, technically, rather, magic can put it back together. Ah, uh, that's true. Hmm. That'll be more expensive. Well, whatever. It's okay. The, the, the Jezzeline tomb should be should be fine. Should cover that, anyways. I'll, I'll just, I guess, I'll just look look at it as, as an investment. Hmm. Uh, she seems she's like just like has her like hand in her chin. She's like like squeezing her cheeks a little bit to the point where like her lips are, pers- are popping out a little bit like a like a fish like she's doing it like she doesn't even like like realize it you're very animated aren't you huh i don't know what anyway so do you have any directions for the tomb or anything like that or just going in blind uh well i know the island's up north uh, uh if you have a map i can kind of like mark it on for you um I'll produce a map. Yeah. Uh, she uh, puts you guys on the map and just kind of pinpoints it. It's on the western side of the island, I think. Uh, 
Just be careful. It might be shrouded in fog, but uh, and it might be a little bit dangerous, but just uh, I don't know. Just keep your keep your keep your wits about you. Ah uh, well, I suppose we'll be in touch. Uh yeah. Oh wait. Um, uh, can I get like I like for the paperwork and stuff? Can I get your all's your all's names and stuff? And she pulls out like a notepad. What paperwork is this? Uh, this is for for so I can sponsor you. So you it's know, a so magic you can... registration. Yeah. Okay. Azeda nods, and she says, uh, "I am Azeda Al Mujahid, uh, Mujahida." Okay. Can I see that paperwork? Can't say my damn well own name. Um, I don't have the, I don't have the forms on me. I have to go down to the to the post myself. Um, and she just shows you like her notepad, like it's it's just a notepad. So you're gonna take our signatures and then what? Put it on the forms or wherever you want. Oh, oh no, no, no! You're not gonna be signing yet. Oh, I'm just I'm just filling it all out. You guys can sign the paperwork when you get back. Yeah, she's doing a bit of the legwork for us. Unless, Unless, I mean, I can keep them blank if you want to fill them out. I would like an insight check. Sure. I don't trust her. Uh, her, her, like, endearing nature and stuff, it's just, oh, that's, that's not Timochan. Who <laughs> put that there? Timochan is way up here. Hang on. Uh, her her natural like like skittishness and everything else is is putting you off to the point where like you're not sure like how to gauge it. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said she's very animated. Um, yeah, Zion's just gonna be like, um, it's up here. I mean, technically, I don't even need to be registered for for casting spells. That's not my thing. Um, but uh. I'm, uh, He's right. Like, I don't think you need to give her your hand. Then, if you don't want. Like, mm. What about the the tattoo? Uh, that counts. That would be uh, a magical it, effect. It would be counting as a thrown here. It's fine. And shut up, man. Shut up. Azeda, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you say? I just agreed that it's like a magic item. Mm. It would be an active effect. Shut your fucking mouth, bumba clock. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> I, we're not, I, I don't I don't trust uh, no, I, I want to read these forms first okay uh, okay we, um, have, we haven't really agreed to anything yet other than going somewhere that we wanted to go yeah okay I'll I'll just I guess I'll just gather the forms then uh just hoping to save a little bit of time um okay all right all right fine it's all right do what you can and uh, we'll do what we can. And when introducing, I'll introduce myself as Viper. Ooh, as Viper. Yep. Yeah, Zion doesn't even give uh, give her name. His name. <laughs> All right. She just, she just. Okay. I'll mark down as um, uh, big guy. Okay. Or Zion, your own? Viper. Is is Zeta like the only one who gave her name? No, I'm about. Oh, Olivia gives her. Full name. Olivia okay. Waif, dear. Wait, what's your last name? Waif. I actually didn't know Olivia's last name. <laughs> it's been in chat this whole time! <laughs> uh, Wolfram, did you give yeah, your name also? Yeah, Wolfram or? is going okay. to... Yeah, I was just waiting for everybody to... Wolfram yeah. is so my she, name. That's it. Uh, so she does all that. Yeah. Oh, you're uh, right. It is. It's right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wow. Oh, okay then. Um, okay, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll see you guys when you get back. I guess. Um, Did she react at all to the name Viper? Um, you gotta be an insight check. Come on, one. Oh. Hey. <laughs> uh, she thought it was a curious name. But nothing, nothing more. There was no like discerning look or anything, or a high sign, you know, okay. uh, that, that in, in response. Uh, 
Um, okay. Uh, Olivia and, and or Wolfram, at least, I know you wanted to check out the uh, the temple mm -hmm. uh, before you leave. Is, is that you still want to do that? That is right. Yep. Yeah, I still, I'll, I'll, I'll take along with that as well. Anyone else want to come with? Uh, going to the temple? Yeah, we're going to check out the temple to the, the old god first. Or yeah. it's a alleged temple to the old god. We don't know if it's actually there. Okay. Um, Azeda kind of nods to Olivia and says, I will come. You might need yeah, to pack up. Just somewhere local we got to check out before we head out to the island. Sure. The island uh, likely has some connection to uh, them, so we thought we might get some information before we leave. Okay. Um, so you guys walk uh, towards the uh, the old uh, the the high fort. Um, it's a little. It's a bit. It's a long long trek uh, towards there. Um, but as you do, you do notice that the style of the buildings seem to get older. Um, some of them look like they they have seen some some wear and tear. Uh, but some of the ones that are like clearly marked by the by the house sigils and everything else are nice they're like they're like upkept so like anything you you gather that anything that is outside of like the main the main three houses is not as well off um uh but uh you come you do come across like this some of the what are, like one of the older looking buildings there is this uh this uh temple that does harken back to to the uh, the altar that you guys saw in the mines at Salt Marsh? Oh shit! It's like a split in image. You must feel right at home. The entrance looks like a very, like a like an intricately carved uh, crocodile head with its like mouth open up. Quick piggyback. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah, let's head in. Yeah, okay. nowhere else to go but in. Uh, the interior is dimly lit by by candles. Um, there's a, a man in in, in uh, black robes um, is just uh, sweeping uh, in front of some of the altars. Um, not a whole lot of, of people here are praying. There's like maybe one or two, um, but. No, but like e even the, even their prayers are are silent and quick um as they uh leave as you guys come in in, in and enter uh the man in the black robes has you can see etched on his uh like above his uh above where his heart would be as the uh the symbol of the umber league yes can i help you Uh, excuse me. We came across uh, some curious uh, symbols uh, regarding one of. Uh, is this this is the temple of uh, Zatzalaha, right? Um, it is. Your your your. It 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 doesn't say uh, whether or not it is. There are many different uh, altars uh, okay. placed about the room um, with with varying different symbols on it. One of them, which does have a bat. We came across uh, a tomb of sorts far from here that had uh, some connection to Zatzala, and we just wanted to know. I uh, wanted to know some information. Oh, Zatzala so is the other name for the god Kamathots. I'll type it. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm. Kamazatz is just supposed to be the god of bats and evil. But he has a flip side where he is the Zazilaha, the god of vampires and the underworld. Where did you say this altar was? Uh, one second. Uh, one second. As I was typing. Oh. 
That was under Salt Marsh, right? Yeah. I found it in a cave under the town we're all from. Uh, it's Salt Marsh. He doesn't. He doesn't not react. He's just, he just goes. Hmm. Well, uh, I don't know much about why that that was there. Is there another reason you came to see me, or came to see came came for? I don't know. Came here. Uh, uh, can you give us any information about Kamazats or? Other than or, or the to, island to the north. Yeah, Tomoa Chan itself. Mm. Uh, it's said that his worshippers uh, at Tomoa Chan are the reason why the Olman Empire lost their stranglehold on this region many, many years ago. Uh, How exactly? Hmm. Uh, they, uh, a faction of theirs just decided to try and take control. Was that the mud, uh, the mud sorcerers? They came, they came not soon after that. Sorry, one second. Take your time. Okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, they, uh, there was a, uh, supposedly a, some vampiric nobles that wanted to control the region and uh, this brought about disorder and chaos to, to the Empire. Are they still around? Oh, no. Uh, they're said to be buried in a in a tomb somewhere. Uh, that's why it's so dangerous to to look them up, to, to, to uncover these these tombs. Should just leave them where the where they lie. Um, he says it with like a there's like a sort of like passion in his 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 old voice um, when he says that like they should just be, be not disturbed. I've got ten gold saying that all that this tomb that the the next tomb that she wants us to dig up has vampires in it. I wouldn't be surprised. Me neither. If not vampires. Some other kind of undead, or who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and fight a demon. Uh, nothing we can handle, though, right? Exactly. I'd like to head out right away. Uh, that works for me. Thank you for your time, sir. Uh, was going to give him uh, a couple gold. Uh, Hell yeah. Five gold for just a tie. Uh, he nods, uh, says thank you. Um, he does eye you suspiciously, Wolfram. Is there something wrong? Mm -mm. Mm, no, no, never mind. Uh, I have a insight check? Sure. Um... He has a suspicion about you, Wolfram. Wolfram will go up to him and just... If you have any questions, I'm more than willing to answer. Uh, n n no. Please leave. I... <laughs> Is this guy bothering you, Wolfram? <laughs> <laughs> he said no pickles. Sorry. 
How many times we gotta teach you this lesson, old man? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, it's certainly early seven. Okay. You guys can settle on your boat. Um, yeah. Wolf was just okay. going to mention that. Uh, mention that the guy seemed uh, suspicious of me. You think it might be the mask? I would say maybe something more than that. Probably by nature. Yeah, maybe something like uh, Azita's nose over there. I something like that. What? Perhaps with the Is that racist. No. What? <laughs> I say that we're talking about detecting undead. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I thought you were saying that he was giving me the stink eye because <laughs> because I'm no. Okay. No. He may have sensed it, and since we're the uh, topic we were discussing was in, in uh, discussing undead, perhaps. Uh, was being very wary. Well, fortunately, he didn't want to say anything. You smell better than most undead, if that helps anything. Thank you. I, uh. I. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> it's not really. Yeah. I don't know. So we're going to just leave immediately? I mean, we can let Jade know. We can also inquire about how long it takes to get to, to Moachan. Uh, you can make a survival check. So, since you are the na the quartermaster navigator. Yeah. Eh. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm not proficient in survival. Never mind. <laughs> um. Uh... Two days, maybe three. You're, you're, you're. It's you're not sure. Should take a few days. We can always take off in the morning. I'm not gonna lie. I have some light reading I'd like to do along the way. I likewise. I feel uh, we yeah. cannot proceed in the city until we are registered and our fees are paid. I do not want to be hobbled by not being able to use magic. Of course. Well, I, I just figured uh, you might want to spend a day on land, Zeta. I am beginning to tolerate the water. It is odd how it is no longer quite so abhorrent. Well, I really don't think Good. we have to worry about registration until we get back from Tomoe-chan, so we can cast magic at, on our way there and from. Well, what, what she was saying is like there's no point sticking around Zeta Zolo um, because we should just if, if there was anything else that we wanted to do in the city, it would be easier if we were registered. So she's yeah. also going to Tone Moachan to get um, sponsored. I was trying to fish for a couple of hours of reading, and then also we paid for the hotel room, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah! We did. Do also, that. maybe the crew wants shore leave or something. Yeah, true. Right? I mean, they could take the they could take the hotel room as well. We go. What's there to see in Cita Solo? Do we have a concierge? They don't, don't know that? how to cast magic, so they're good. <laughs> does uh, does the Sands have a concierge to tell us about nice restaurants in the area? Uh, I mean, the, the the bartender could try and help you out with that. I'm ordering room service. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Thank you. Fancy. I think if we're going to stay here a bit to, to spend the money on the night, um, Isaiah's going to try and find out where the most interesting craft ales are served. Zion just goes in his room and starts reading. So does Zion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nerds, I'm going to go drinking. We got room service for drinking and reading. <laughs> Uh, all right, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, you're everybody's staying up in, in their rooms and stuff. Can get can order room service. Um, there's some you know nice like spiced meats, spiced chicken, and everything, st things like that. Um, lots of paprika just everywhere. Oh, uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, some kebabs and the and the like also. Because uh, it is gonna change and to normal clothes and leave her armor with soul and Olivia. <gasps> 
You have okay. your own room. <laughs> she wants you guys to guard it. She, does, yeah. she trusts Solon and Olivia. All not, right. Not so much Zion yet. Zion orders like something unique to this place, um, but like he kind of sets it down and like he'll eat like for like real quick just to see what it's like. But then after I get back to reading, I'm gonna press DJ G. Uh, her armor. <laughs> what are you gonna do to it? No, I'm just gonna, gonna clean it. Oh, okay, that's good because it might be stinky. <laughs> might as well get it over with. I can do it instantaneously. <laughs> that's very nice of you, Olivia. She'll be pleased when she gets back. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Zeta, you're able to find like uh, there's like a lot of rum bars, uh, or, or, or establishments that sell rum. Uh, down here, um, some of it looks good. Some of it looks a little uh, cloudy, a uh, little, little, little suspect. Sus. She doesn't know rum that well, so let's find out. Um, what would I roll to to see if she she knows her, her booze, whether she thinks it's good or not? Um, hmm. that's a tough. Hey, I'm gonna say Constitution intelligence. Okay. No, no, it, Constitution would be if she's she's drinking it. I'm gonna say intelligence check as, as like you're trying like, like not your, from your palate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, just straight up intelligence. Let's find out. No whammies. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's 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 all sweet. It's all nice. Uh, the darker stuff definitely tastes better, but the mm. white stuff you can you can have with anything okay she starts asking for the dark stuff okay. it's sweet uh yeah, yeah she goes on a bar she goes on a pub crawl okay yeah nice uh go ahead and make a constitution <laughs> uh, that that's you want me to roll constitution save yes please i don't know why i did plus one maybe i've got plus on yeah should just be a 15 one, probably um you're it's it's you you definitely get get some get some some spots where you think that you drank a little bit too much um like uh but then it, it it passes for look a little bit um you won't be feeling it too much in the morning um okay. but it but you you will you will be feeling it like like it's like a it's a good hangover instead of a bad hangover Okay, she's she's gonna go back to the inn before she gets like actually soused. She's she's gonna have a nice buzz on. She's having fun. She's playing games. She's playing cards with people and just kind of socializing and uh, talking to people. And then once she's pretty well tired and her tummy feels a little bit uneasy, she's gonna go back to the inn. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so you didn't get robbed, um, but I'd say that you probably overspent a little bit on, <laughs> on some of the, the rum. Fair enough. Uh, so, so go ahead and mark off 20 gold. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know what, what the good stuff was and the bartenders knew it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but for everybody else, uh, yeah, after a night of like of like a set night study sesh, as you guys are reading your books, yay! Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys can get on your boat and oh, uh, set up. Uh, when yeah, when Azeda comes back, uh, it's too late or or slash early in the morning to her for her to bother Olivia and Solon. But in the morning, uh, when she sees when she goes to pick up her armor from their room, she thanks Olivia for cleaning it for her. Yeah. That's no trouble. I, you even got that that smell out. Thank you. Well, between you and me, I didn't do anything. Wink. You know, the, again, no magic here, technically. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm sure it was just your excellent knowledge of cleaning tricks. Yeah, elbow grease. Much <laughs> obliged. 
Okay, back um, to Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, I think this will be a good place to, to call it for, to, for tonight. Sure. Oh, sure. Short, short <laughs> session, but like, you got, yeah, it's next fine. time you guys will be en route to Timochan and probably getting to Timochan. Um, I will I also say, to... oh. oh, I was just going to say real quick, uh, Wolfram, the, um, the little uh, shell that you got from the uh, uh, look at the has like got some like it's like it like scribbles on it like uh, saying like picked up order from from salt marsh uh, where to bring um, and this is yes this is open to everyone like um, yeah do, um, do we want to send it here or do we want to yeah. send, uh, land send it to the ship send it to the ship well they don't know where the ship is going to be Oh crap! Well, we'll be back. So if they want to send it to the port of Zirozolo and wait for us on our way back, I guess yeah, maybe yeah, true. Let's just say Zirozolo, and then have it find uh, Mary uh, Sherrick if we trust her enough. Can we tell yeah, them? I mean, to yeah, at Tamatoa, Tamoa <laughs> We could have them send it there. I just don't know if we're going to be there by the time they get back. Or would you want to go there and then do our thing and just wait until they arrive? Because I know you're waiting for something, so that's why yeah. it's important. All right, yeah. Let's just say to Mochan, and then we'll if we'll just wait till they arrive if we finish up there. Okay, sounds good. Okay. And uh, uh, so you cool. said something, right? Yes, I really wanted to get legend lore off of the vampire lady done tonight. I was just waiting for us to be back on the oh. boat. Yeah, sure. You want to do that? If Wolfram doesn't mind. I don't have a prepared. Currently. Oh, the next day? The next when day I can do it for you. Yeah. When we woke up in this morning? <laughs> well, I mean, we, we cut cut the session, so we can... You want to do that next time, or...? I would love to do it today if we can. All right. Well, I will... Let me move around my spells here real quick. For the day. Da -da. All right, we will legend lore. Whoop. Okay, and you want to learn about the vampire lady from Saltmarsh? Yes. Yeah. We never got oh, her name. Right. It was just uh, the priestess, yeah. I believe, or something of. Uh... The lady in Olivia's basement. Yeah. Yes. Oh and yeah. The one I looked like and. The island was reacting to it. Crab lady. Crab lady. Crab vampire. Uh, so, uh, uh, her name was Pearl Zolik. All right. Uh, I almost said just that's it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, end so, scene. Uh, so. Uh, Pearl was a, a priestess to uh, Zotzilaha and was originally from Tamochan. Um, but she was speared away by uh, by betrayers <gasps> and uh, placed in a, like, like transported essentially to Saltmarsh way back when. Um, uh, angered by this, she of course terrorized the uh, town of Saltmarsh until she was imprisoned by uh, a cleric of oh jeez oh uh, by a, a paladin and cleric uh, a team uh, by of Saint Cuthbert and she was cursed to remain there um, and the curse Rudolph. With, the, with the curse only being able to be lifted uh, by one of pure heart so she would have to <laughs> double be, brutal yeah but then then Escorted out by uh, by pure heart or 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 uh, a pure love. Damn. And that was of Saint what? Saint Cuthbert. The homie. C C C Cuthbert. Cuthbert. I think it's Cuthbert. Yeah, Cuthbert. Cuthbert yeah. I've always pronounced it Cuthbert. I think it's because I, I think I pronounced it's like, all like, good. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I wonder if she was stuck down there for so long. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it is. I'll, 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 I'll say you you get back also. Um, supposedly her lover was looking for her for quite some time. <gasps> oh no! It might still be. extra sad. 
Is her lover also a vampire? Most likely. That's what I get from the legend lore. All right. Excellent. And I will mark off that incense. Thank you. Oh yes. Was that was that was that satisfactory? Yes. I mostly just needed a name. <laughs> <laughs> we got way more than that. Thank you. Because you know I'm going to be rolling up on that island looking at looking like her. That is my plan. All right. Uh, I will. Okay, cool. Um, I got I got lots to work on for next yeah. week. <laughs> <laughs> most of it, most of it's most of it's pretty much pretty much done. But I just want I just need to go over my notes again because it's been a while and it's like I had to make sure I have everything. So. Right, right. It's been a while. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, I'm going to mark down. Uh, everybody pretty much has spent time on their books. Yes. All right. Except, except for, oh, except for Zeta. <laughs> Readings for nerds. <laughs> Do you not want the buff? She does. She'll 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 think you, she'll have to um, ask for help studying though. We got oh, two, yeah, we got two or you. three days here coming. Yeah, we'll be okay. Of travel. Oh, yeah. Um, can everybody tell me what what uh what books they got? Wisdom. Oh. Charisma. Dex. So Zion got wisdom. Uh, Olivia, okay, thank you. Thank you for typing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you get, uh, Azeda? Oh, I believe she also... Little... Yeah, charisma also. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll pass you my notes. Ah, yes, please, Olivia. Study buddy. (laughs) On the boat, uh, she'll hit you up for for some study help, because she doesn't know the big words. (laughs) All right. The cliff cliff notes to it. There's not much book learning in the army, okay? You have obviously not been in the military. Yeah, your oh, army, point. Zion's army, yeah. uh, definitely studied a lot. Yeah, there's yeah, okay. a lot of studying. Okay, in the Starikian army, we just went straight to knocking down giants. It was very hands-on learning. Right, and that's comparing a, a more, like, uh, I, I don't want to say medieval, but, you know, not less modern. Dark modern. Ages. Yeah, yeah she, Dark Ages they, army right there. You guys and your fancy modern militaries. Just saying. Yeah, I'm sure, like, today, these days, absolutely, um, I'm sure there's a lot of, of theory. And, and I, You would know better than I would. But um, as far as Zeta as a character, I imagine her, oh, her, her education is a lot more basic and hands-on. Was Zeta not an officer? Was she just a standard foot soldier? She was a sergeant. Oh right. So she's she was not a fancy officer. She was more like platoon level leader. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, a sergeant's just kind of like take orders and then let the let the officers think of the big picture. Exactly. Yep. So small scale leader, not not the not the generals or lieutenants or captains. Like as high as a, a lowly a lowly foot soldier would go. <laughs> But even then, with uh, being a sergeant, you probably would be somewhere in, like a minor minor nobility in the sages. I think it would. Be, yeah, she would have some clout. Like it wouldn't be just like, oh, you're just a grunt. Uh, yeah. But but as far as being able to to read and study and and know what she was getting from from a more theoretical education, I think that kind of thing is tough for her. Mm-hmm. What about Olivia? What about her? How high up was she in the Navy? Oh, come on. We, uh, we know uh, exactly. She, she got to the lieutenant. Yeah, you, yep. you guys know that. Right. Uh, was it fucking it? Prime Water won't fucking shut up about it. <laughs> yeah, it was Prime Water, right? Yeah, he first mentioned it. Yep, yep. Was she a lieutenant? Yes. <laughs> Now, I know that, that naval and military ranks, like, uh, not, uh, the Navy and Army ranks go weird because they're not, like, they're, one they're, one. No, they're not. 
It's like the same, but different. Yeah. Like, going from, like, the U.S. military, like, an E-4 is actually considered an officer in the Navy versus, uh, in the, in the Army, it's not. My brother made it to E-4. What branch? Um, Yeah, he's in the Navy. Yeah, Army, Navy, and Air Force are separate, right? They have sometimes mm-hmm. different rankings. Mm-hmm. Uh, Marines, too. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking on a more, um, like, I, I'm more of a trying to do the historical fantasy thing. <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. I like finding out weird little notes about strange historical details, like, I was finding out recently about, um, you know, that ancient Siberian tablet that was like the first complaint lever letter ever. You guys are familiar oh, with yeah. that? Oh, yeah. About the, the copper? Yes, about the, the substandard copper shipment. And he's like complaining to, the, to like Anias and he's like, you sent me really shitty copper and you were rude to my servant. Um, there was a really fascinating uh, conversation about how would he know it was substandard copper without doing a heat alloy assaying, like without melting it down. And so uh, there was a really interesting little tidbit about how there used to be these uh, touch stones, which would be a dark stone that would be harder than the metal you were trying to grade. And you would scratch the metal across the touch stone. And depending on the color of the streak, you could find out what level of alloy the metal was. So like, pure copper would be a very bright orange and then it would be like less and less and less and apparently had like an accuracy within 4%. That's cool. That's, That's real like, cool. Yeah, it's like yep. one of those, you know. Yeah, it's one of those really cool little like historical details I would love to just find in a, in like a fantasy book sometime where you go, "Oh, and he pulled out his touchstone and scraped the gold and found out it was not pure." You know, stuff like that. Cool. Yeah, uh, Sumeria was is a lot more advanced than a lot of people give it credit for. Oh yeah, um, I'm I'm always fascinated by it. Uh, me and my, one of my friends are always learning about it and stuff. It's great. I would say any ancient people people uh, tend to underestimate how smart they were. That's what's so infuriating about the freaking ancient aliens. It's like we are mm-hmm. still the same humans we were about eight thousand to twenty thousand years ago. We're yeah. the exact same creatures, and uh, even more so. Um, that ancient alien thing. Yeah, I actually want to stop the stream while I complain about this. <laughs> while we complain. That-